Hi, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and our topic today is about properties of light. Science here for Unit 5. Next, light travel in a straight line until it strikes an object or surface. We have light from a torch. We have sunlight rays shine between the tree trunk in the forest. We have light from the lamp. We have a lot of source of light. What is shadows? Shadows is a region of darkness where light is blocked by an object. For example, like this, all of us have shadows, but we only can see the shadows when there is a light. Shadows are formed when light is blocked by opaque object or translucent object. Actually, we have three types of object, which is opaque, translucent, and transparent. Opaque is object that does not allow any light to pass through it. For example, like this vase. We have translucent. Translucent is object that allows some light to pass through it. Meanwhile, we have the third one which is transparent. Transparent is the object that allows all light to pass through it. For example, we have transparent glass, transparent window. Okay, that is transparent. We can look through it. We can look, we can see what happened behind it. With opaque object, we cannot see anything. If block, you're not going to know what happened behind it. Next, we have factors affecting the size of shadows. When the distance between the object and the light source increases, the size of the shadow decreases. When the distance between the object and the light source decreases, the size of the shadow increases. Factor affecting the shape of shadows First, the positions of the light source Second, the orientations of the object For example, like this When the object object, put it like this, we can see it as T But if we put it here, the light source is from the, the side So we can see it like I Next the orientations of the object like this one light source the object like that we can see the screen shadows are a triangle but if we put the object from the bottom we can see the shadows is like a square reflections of light when light falls on an object, it bounces off the surface of the object. For example, like this one. This is a ray diagram where the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Reflections of a mirror, of image in a mirror, look like that. We can see our face from the mirror. We can see an object because the object reflects light into our eyes so that's why we can see reflections if we look into the mirror. Info An object with hard, smooth and shiny surface can reflect light better than an object with uneven, soft and rough surface. Refractions of light when light travels from a medium to another medium, like this one, we can see the straw look pen in the water. The alphabet, the alphabet appear larger in size when using magnifying glass because it different medium. And another example is when the sun shined on the rain droplet, the light will be refracted. That's why you can see a different color of rainbow. I think that's it for our lessons today. Thank you. You can scan this QR code for an extra note. Thank you for listening. Bye. 
don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos thank you